Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. Today we are featuring my baby's feet. Because <laughs> she's right here watching her game. And they're just going to be right there for right now. Okay. So I just did a little video with her. I think I'm going to post it in a little while. But see what you are led to. Um, You can be led to either um, any one of these cars. They have, it's like a couple of cars under each one. But um, I laid these crystals out here specifically, so I would rather you be led to a crystal this time, this rose quartz. But however you see it, it's however you see it, okay? So however you, you feel like you are led to those cards is is the right way for you, okay? And, if, and you guys, if any of this does not relate to you, you can kind of... Um, take out some of the parts that I'm saying can relate to you because sometimes when you're led to a card, you know, keep in mind this is a general reading and, you know, of course, we're reading for so many people. So sometimes, like, everything that I'm saying would totally resonate with you. And sometimes you can just kind of give and take, you know, certain things. Like, it probably is like I just experienced a reading like this, like, for myself. This is why I'm saying this. Because, like, not too long ago, I did a pick a card reading, and I just know that reading was for me. And, um, most of what she said, most of what she said, because I had a kind of peculiar situation, and I'm going to do a reading for peculiar situations, too. So, I had, like, a peculiar situation, so I wasn't really expecting ever for her to really answer, but she answered the question, and I just had to kind of, like, pick a piece, like, Pick the pieces that like really resonated with me and the stuff that didn't resonate with me, then you know, I just let that go. So, um, so sometimes you know, the answer might be still there, but you kind of have to like apply it to your situation the best way you can, you know, especially if you know you have like a peculiar situation. Um, so, and sometimes you just might be on the wrong video, you know, you might have to go. I know, I know I'm your favorite psychic YouTuber, but sometimes, hey, you have to go to another video, okay? <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. You guys know I'm joking. So, <laughs> so I don't think I mean it by this favorite, favorite because it's like so many good people on here, so I'm just playing. Rose Chorus, this Snowflake Jade Egg which is my baby's favorite, or this red jasper. I prefer to you to be led to the energy of the crystals, but, you know, um, to each his own. This is a pick a card reading for why am I afraid of love, or let's see why. Let's see if I can help you get over those fears also. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to those who was led to this rose cork or this quartz or this deck right here let's see what your cards are saying okay you guys this is why it seems like you are afraid of love or i'm gonna put this the best way i can this is kind of tough at least to me maybe you can handle this better than i'm a, than i feel like i am receiving it because i think this is kind of um something that i would rather not say because this is the thing. I'm looking at your cards here. And this is very much, um, you have dream talk. You have mother's love, forgiveness, and ancestor wisdom. This is basically saying this is something generational. And I'm going to advise to you to do a spiritual cleansing, okay? Because, um, I cannot necessarily say a curse you know um and it could be in some type of way but also this is just more something more of something genetic this looks like your mother has been this way your grandmother has been this way your aunts are this way hey your your father is this way your grandfather is this way your aunts and your uncles and your cousins all of you guys kind of have something in common right now I'm not picking up exactly what that is. So, um, the unforgiveness card is there. And I'm seeing, I don't know if that's just the whole family thing or this is for you. This is specifically for you. Something that you have to work on if you want to find love in your life. Because, um, 
and I don't think this is more so forgiving someone else. I think this is more so forgiving yourself. Maybe you are thinking that sometimes we just think we're not worthy of a certain type of love. But you absolutely are. If this card is here, then this card is telling you that you are worthy of love. You bring so much to the table, okay? So, whoever this person is, I'm picking up on a big hearted, big kind of person. And when you meet that woman or that man then they better recognize that's what you bring to the table because it's not a lot of people out there who are just selfless okay but i see that you have also picked something up generational something that your mother do or that your grandmother do you do it also so this is going to be revealed to you in dreams or have been revealed to you in dreams if you don't know exactly what it is but i'm going to suggest that you do a spiritual cleansing on yourself so you can just wipe away this um generation habit it's something that's habitual okay i'm not gonna necessarily call it a curse and it can be for certain people but it's just something habitual oh my gosh what did i say habitual <laughs> that you do and you only doing it because you have seen everyone else do it and i'm trying to pick it up specifically maybe this is something that you need a personal reading for my email is in the description if you would like a personal reading with me i always get right back with people okay and um my prices are in the description also because i just cannot really pick up exactly what this is and if you would like a personal reading then of course i'll be able to dig deeper and tell you exactly what this is because hey you know if it if I could pick it up right now, then I would just go ahead and tell you in the video. Because I know this is a general reading, and this has to be for so many different people. So, maybe that's why. Because I'm not even picking up not one thing right now. But I'm just suggesting that you do a spiritual cleansing. And that you listen to your dreams if you don't quite know what it is. I think some of you guys know what it is, though. It's something habitual, hab habitual that you're doing that's keeping you from love. And that that habit that you're doing is actually why you are afraid of love. Why you're afraid of taking that next step. It's something that you've just seen everyone else do when you do it, too. So, um... But, hey, uh, much success to you, to those of you who are drawn to that rose course. Like I said, you're going to find someone. I'm picking up on a very big-hearted person. That's probably why this rose course is there, because it's for the heart. And, um, and that person is going to recognize it about you. Not too many people meet people who are just so selfless and, 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 and just really a caring person. So, know that about yourself, okay? So, those of you who are drawn to this deck or the Snowflake Jade Egg, Jade Egg, let's see why you are afraid of love. And I'm going to see if I can help you out a little bit. So, these are your cards. Hey, you guys. So, those of you guys who were drawn to this one, this is your message. Sometimes, like, spirit just have to tell you what they want to tell you. Because, guys, sometimes we are drawn to these videos and we think we have a problem that we really don't have. And, um, the thing is, you're not afraid of love. Timing is not right, right now for you. Um, you're saying, how did you get that out of these cards, Gabrielle? Just, just because I did, I have to like kind of <laughs> give and take what I'm seeing in each card sometimes, and your timing is has not yet come. Um, but when I very first turned over the cards, so I paused the video. It took me a little while to get the message, but when I first paused the video, I immediately got that your timing is pretty soon from this just X card. So if you want love, ask for it. The thing is, this is what's happening to you. You are just all the time in your mind, in your head. I was just focusing on this. And I was focusing on this. And you're all the time in your mind and you're in your head because love has not came your way. Maybe you're hearing it on readings or you're just thinking it should have been here by now. And you're just wondering why. So, therefore... um. When a person comes, when a person do come along and that person just don't stay and then the next person don't stay and it's like, it seems like it's continuous to you, you start looking at yourself and you start wondering, well, you know, um, 
why do I keep meeting these type of people or why can't I why can't I find love or I'm attracting the same type of people and you're not the type of person to just settle anyways so the thing is you just start saying well it's like you've came to the conclusion that maybe I just don't want to get too close to a certain type of person and it's not that you are afraid of love because you're not scared to it's not that you're scared to get too close to a type of person but you are scared of the wrong type of allowing the wrong type of person into your life so you don't accept any type of person that comes that comes in your life okay so that's what i got from all of these cards and um to be a little bit more specific, this gratitude card is here. It's not very little or literal. It's not exactly what you're thinking. Is this this is just someone that's in their head and they're trying to think about all the different options of why this gratitude is kind of is kind of coming off as being humble, wondering what's wrong with you or what can you do more exactly what it is, and you can came up with the conclusion that you're just that you're just scared or you're kind of afraid and that's not what it is so i'm going to put your mind at rest right now it's just you're more so skeptical and iffy about the type of men or women that you bring into your life and you are heading on the right path you are supposed to be like that okay that's how you are supposed to be so you're just not technically afraid of love you're just waiting on the right time the time is going to be very soon so the thing is your timing is just the timing is not right that's the only reason why you keep attracting these type of people because the timing is not right to be a little bit a little bit more specific i'm going to request you to go out in nature this doesn't necessarily have anything to look to do with love but it can because i'm picking up those of you who are drawn to this car you kind of stay out stay in your head a lot and you're um a really logical analytical type of person so just whenever you're confused about something or you find yourself just being too much in your head because hey that can be a positive thing too you know and I'm sure you know that about yourself. Step right outside. Step into nature. And sometimes you get your answer right then and there. Okay. So why you are afraid of love. Not necessarily that you're afraid of love. You're just really skeptical of meeting the, own, the wrong person. And you just got in your head. That you just kind of put in your head. You're afraid of You are um, afraid of love but not necessarily if you know what i mean you guys but just ask for it and your love can come really quick as soon as you're ready or i just see love coming really quick for you guys who are drawn to this snowflake jade egg those of you who are drawn to this red jasper right here it looks so dark on camera it's not really that dark it has a prettier red redder shade to it or this last deck, these are, oh my gosh, just a lot of cards seem like. Okay, these are your cards, choices, receive, hope. You're not alone, stand your ground. Okay. Okay, this is a message that I got immediately. It's like, um, you're saying that you are afraid of love. Or you want to know why you are afraid to allow this love to come in. Um, this one is kind of um, plain and simple. Um, you're just really reluctant of getting hurt. You're afraid of getting hurt. That's why you are afraid of love. Um, the thing is, you really have to do some grounding on yourself. Work on your root chakra. <laughs> it's probably why this is here. This red jasper is good for that. Work on your root chakra. Work on your heart chakra. Um, and your sacral sh sacral chakra and solar plexus. Okay. So this choices card is here because this is a situation that once you just work on your mind you can easily get yourself out of okay this is just someone who is um the thing is you really want love in your life this is what i'm getting right here you really want love in your life but you are just afraid of of putting yourself out there from this card you're afraid of putting yourself out there you're afraid of getting hurt okay don't be afraid to take chances okay because like this next person is not 
the I mean, once you really stay, once you really work, work on yourself and do the work that you need to do on yourself, work on those chakras that I was telling you to do, and work on receiving and allowing love to come into your heart, and work on putting yourself out there. Once you do that, then um, you're not going to find someone that's just going to desert you. And I feel like some of you guys are just afraid of being alone. That's why this card is here. This is saying you're afraid of being alone, and then for some people, you are afraid of... So finding someone and then they just leave you. Maybe a lot of people have done that in your life. So and this won't happen with the next person, okay? With the person that's really there for you. So but make sure the the next person is not just the next person. The next person that you after you have done the work on yourself, not while you are working on yourself. Because a lot of you are already working working on yourself okay so not where you're not while you're working on yourself but after you have done the work on yourself then um then you're gonna find the person that's not gonna leave you it's just you feel like maybe someone has left you and you're afraid of the next person that next person is going to leave you and this next person is not going to leave you so some of you guys are just afraid of you know like I said just you're afraid of being alone and um that's why you are uh, afraid of this is why you're afraid of love because you're afraid of being alone now those of you who are afraid of being alone this is something that you're gonna have to work on also because it's just like um you kind of have to become content with being alone the stand your ground card is here can go with this also you have to become content with being by yourself find a peace with yourself once you start loving and accepting yourself 100 percent for your flaws and all then you're not gonna you're not you're gonna actually love being in the company of just yourself so that's not even more so you being afraid of love. That's that's more so of you um of you wanting love maybe a little too much. So this won't be for everyone. So just kind of the messages that I gave can be for certain people and then um this message right here is just for someone else who it's not that you are afraid of love, you're just afraid of being alone okay because you will welcome love and the thing is you i feel like um some of you who who were drawn to this deck and this card specifically is talking to some specific people not everyone who is drawn to this deck this card right here in this stand your ground card i'm thinking that they go kind of hand to hand in hand and it's also saying that I feel like this is a person that advice tries to invite love in a lot just because you don't like to be alone. But you really have to work on you have to work on your self esteem and your self worth. And I'm looking at this lady who is just like, um who has her hand over this guy in the red, um, kinda like his heart and the red flowers come there. And so I'm picking up a person who is very generous and um, a very loving person. And um, if you are like that, then honey, you do want you do not want to be giving your love to the type of um, guys or women that you have been inviting in. Okay, you have so much to give, and you bring so much to the table. So do do not settle. Just this message message is not for everyone who was led to this card. You know, I already said some other things that could have have led to you. But this message needs to be for someone else. This is why the stand your ground card is here also. This is not you really being afraid of love. You will welcome love in. The only thing that you are, are afraid of, of, of is being by yourself. But you won't be afraid of being by yourself once you become more content with yourself. Once you really start loving and accepting yourself, so you're working on that, right? But you you do not fully accept yourself. 
some of you you don't some of you are just saying and it's like i hear someone saying well i do love myself because it's kind of a hard pill to swallow to say that you don't love yourself but hey we all have to be honest with ourselves sometimes and we have to realize that because i had to work on this also i'm still working on this okay you have to fully accept who you are because you can't accept a man or a woman to accept you for who you really are, but you haven't even accepted yourself. You haven't accepted all of those flaws within yourself yet. You haven't accepted all of those um, dents and scratches and cuts, scrapes, and bruises all over your body. You know, I don't mean literal, but you know what I mean, the imperfections of yourself. You, ha you haven't accepted that yet. You can look at yourself with all those cuts, scrapes, and, and bruises and look in the mirror and say, Hey, I'm beautiful anyways, okay? Hey, listen to my next video that I have coming up. I have another video up coming up that's um, called How Do I Attract Someone Besides Physical Beauty? So, um, I came up with that idea for another reason. So, watch that video. I explained that on that video. What that's about. <laughs> so, watch that. Because this is someone that I feel like you, um, I feel like some of you guys, to be honest, are quite beautiful physically. But I feel like you don't feel like that and you don't see that. And even if we are not looking at physical beauty, it doesn't even matter. Because like I said, I'm picking up someone who is like, um who is like just a real good person and if you're this good of a person please you can't be giving your love to the wrong type of people they do not deserve it okay they don't deserve a person like you you a good person so stand your ground okay make sure you are picking the right people in your life and like i said for some of you you don't want to give your heart away too soon it's like you're afraid of love because you're just afraid of of giving and not getting anything back so i'm going to say for you work on your heart chakra so that one so um you'll be able to allow to put yourself out there to even actually go on dates and find people more often and so you can like let your let your guard down to actually receive love so work on your heart chakra for that what was i what was i saying to this i kind of like to go over what i already said so people can i can make sure people get that message and oh and i was saying like this is something that you can definitely come out of that's why this choices card is here as long as you do the work that you have to do and make the choice that you want to be better and like i said someone is just um you what was i saying for that one well let me just read it again <laughs> <laughs> this is just someone who wants love who wants love it was kind of going with this one i think yeah with that one this was someone who wants love and um who wants love and you really it's not that you are afraid of love you're just having a hard time giving love so that was going with this um receive card also and it's not that you have a hard time giving love it's that you are afraid that's why you are afraid of love because you are afraid to give so much and not receive it back okay so maybe that's something that you went through in the past you do the work on yourself and that won't happen anymore but hey those of you who were led to, to this car i'm picking up some really good energy right here okay it's like different ones of you you are just like um some of you are just the most caring the most giving um people like um just beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful spirit. Those of you who were led to the to this deck or this red jasper, and hey, if you have all that going for yourself, and you know, you guys, I'm kind of more reserved, more laid back. I don't put myself out there that much. I wasn't led to these cards, but I'm kind of like that also. And um, so I know how hard that is. But hey, that's just kind of my personality, though. So if that's not really something that I would too much change about myself. These I'm picking up some extroverted type of people right here. So um, and I'm more so introverted. So that's just more so my personality. This is some people that actually have to. Uh, that's kind of been um burnt some kind of way in the past. So. Um, your extroverted personality is not really coming out, okay? 
So that's something that you have to work on. And I feel like if you're that type of person, that person that, that's supposed to come with you need to work a little bit harder. The people that you're inviting in, no. They have to work a little bit harder than what you have been um, allowing, okay? Because if you actually understood exactly who you are, especially the type of energy that I'm picking up, then, I mean, girls and guys... And you will know exactly what you were worth. You're not about to give. Like you're you're not just about to give. Say if you got if you had like a uh let me think like a Bentley. You know, like and you wanna sell it. You know how much that is worth. So you guys are worth more than that. So you're not gonna give that you're not just gonna unless you just say nice. A lot of you are this are just say nice. <laughs> I was about to say you know you're just gonna give that Bentley away because you know how much it's worth. But you know what I'm saying though, right? <laughs> Some of you guys will. Special type of people I'm picking up, the type of energy from this card, you probably will just give the Bentley away because you're just that good of a person, okay? But do not do not give up so much of yourself. You're too good of a person, okay? too good of a person make these people work to that has that that needs to come into your life they have to prove to you that they're worth your time okay that is all you guys let me know down in the comments if any of this resonated with you or not continue to come and grow with me and subscribe bye